Hello, yogis, yoginis, welcome to my balcony, beautiful little studio that I created on my, on my balcony and uh, we're approaching the sunset today so we're going to be doing a gentle flow together. I was just recently asking from people that are following me whether you would like to energize or whether you would like to chill and guess what? most of the people especially at these times want to chill so today our practice is gonna be very very juicy very chilled one and and comforting and and just not so much having other goals but to bring you into the body into the breath into the present moment our mind might be super wired up and and distracted and pressured and stressed at these times we're living a very peculiar time so often just coming in into ourselves into the body into the breath gives us this connection to to ourselves and and it gives us security within ourselves so take this practice really as a tool to go within and most of all do not worry at all especially now that you're practicing in the in the privacy of your own home please don't worry at all what the practice looks like on the outside as long as you're not hurting yourself of course <laughs> so don't worry about that at all focus on the breath focus on linking the breath and the movement together and focus on giving yourself a gift of yoga today again a practice uh, we're gonna be using Ujjayi breath and I briefly explained to you most of you most likely know what I'm talking about but Ujjayi breath gives you a beautiful tool to to really follow the breath it's called also victorious breath is the breath that creates the sound of the ocean or of the sleeping baby so we create it as a tiny contraction at the back of the throat and if you're puzzled how to create that figure out the way that you would be fogging your glasses when they're dirty you go <sighs> so the same muscles that are activated in this action are activated in our Ujjayi breath. So you may go first breathing a little bit out, um, in and out through the mouth, and then just seal the lips and keep the same action in your throat. Ujjayi breath is a lot more and it's a complicated, beautiful tool, but this is the first way to, to get a touch on it. And I find it very, very important to, to explain how to really create that because once you ignite that on that gives your practice <clears throat> a lot more depth it gives your practice um kind of it levels it up a little bit and it works in two ways it works in a way that it's kind of awakening the body it's it's giving us the body to to signal to okay let's go but it's also calming the mind and can be used as a um, meditation tool as such just sitting and breathing your ujjayi and um, soon you won't be thinking about nothing else except your breath which beautifully brings you to the current moment but um yeah without a much more much more um speech let's go into our practice and we we start today uh, at our backs so find your way onto your back and take your knees into the chest take hold of your knees and just rotate circulate just massage the lower back as feels good to you. You may change the direction of the circles. <sighs> Breathe out through the mouth, release whatever's been going on today. Hmm. 
open your arms into cactus arms to the sides and take the knees and let them drop onto the left. Inhalation will bring your knees to the middle and exhalation will drop them to the right. In a little connection to the core, inhaling to the middle, exhaling to the left. You may let the head drop away, inhaling back to the middle, exhaling to the right. Next time you come to your left, please stay. Let the knees rest. You may place your left hand on right thigh, maybe drop the head away. Breathe in and out. Through the nostrils, having the Udrayi breath, letting the breath caress the spine. Releasing your hands, taking knees back to the middle taking them over to the opposite side maybe dropping your head away from the knees maybe right hand will search for the left thigh or left knee breathing up and down your spine you may imagine that your breath is clearing and cleansing your spine Closing the eyes and settling, releasing. Bringing your knees back to the middle. Hugging them in, give yourself a really good hug. Today we can't go and hug everyone we want. But guess what? The person that we need to hug the most is actually here, right here. So give your best hug to yourself. You may visualize or, or think about someone you unconditionally love, whoever that is to you. And allow yourself the same kind of affection and love from yourself. only we could do it every day or remember to do it every day maybe we would face the life a little bit differently i don't know i would probably now drop the feet close to the sits bones tilt your pelvis slightly under and we start opening the chest we Drop the tailbone, the sacrum deep into the earth and we come into dynamic bridge. So we're inhaling on a count of one, two, three, four. Exhaling on a count of one, two, three, four. Inhaling on a count of one, two, three, four. Exhaling on a count of one, two, three, four, five. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhaling, lengthening to six, two, three, four, five, six. Continue inhaling on a count of four. Lengthening the exhalation, maybe to the count of seven. If it feels like it's too much, six is fine. Inhaling on a count of four. Exhaling on a count of eight. Now take your knees into the chest. Hold them in. Release. And then roll 
down to your side. Find your way into a seated posture. Any cross leg position that serves you that feels right. You may place something underneath your sit bones if needed. And from here, let your hands rest onto the knees, palms facing down. And very simply, gently start creating circles. You may imagine your heart creating a circle. I'm closing the eyes too, it feels like I'm just doing my practice with you today. Rounding the back as you exhale. Inhale, opens. Exhale, rounds. Using the breath to stay in the body, to stay in the moment. Couple more rounds. And then gently you pause and you just switch the direction. Noticing everything that is happening in your spine. Let your yoga be the yoga of the spine. Wherever our limbs are opening up to or reaching is secondary to the fact that your spine and the breath are working seamlessly together so all yoga happens around the spine breath is the moving force these circles start slowly slowly becoming smaller and smaller Eventually they are just seen and you find a tall spine opening the palms up and just receiving, feeling for a moment. What is rising within me, what is moving as a result of this movement? What kind of energy is there? How is my breath? you're inhaling bringing your palms together at the front exhaling bringing your palms into your heart inhaling shoulders relax exhaling inhale opening keeping your neck long exhaling hands into the heart Couple more rounds. One more time, you come up. And from there, you drop your right hand behind the sacrum, left on top of the knee, lengthen the spine, and you very gently twist. Keeping the spine tall. Deepening the twist. Every time you exhale, the twist is maybe going a little bit deeper. The spine still needs a little bit warming, so don't go to the deepest, deepest, fullest twist. Be gentle. As you inhale, you turn the head to the middle, exhale, you release the hands, inhalation, bring hands again together, exhaling hands into the heart. Make it a whole body prayer to life, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhale. Inhaling, palms are moving overhead, you're creating a big circle. 
exhaling hands into the heart one more time inhale stay drop the left behind the sacrum keep the length right on top of the knee lengthen as you inhale exhale deepen neck stays long at the back don't lift your chin too much inhale turn the head to the middle exhale release close the eyes hands rest onto the knees Palms are facing down, grounding, feeling. No matter what is arising from within your system, just allow it to be. Allow it to be seen, heard and felt. from here find your way onto your all fours and as you come onto your all fours you come into cat cows you inhale and open your chest exhale is rounding the back dropping the neck dropping the head inhale open exhale rounding Continuing this as you follow your own breath. Notice if it's available to you to lengthen the exhalation. Why we do that is that we're calming our nervous system down. So when the exhale becomes longer, the body starts to be more calm, the mind starts calming down. We're simply just settling down. Notice if it's available to lengthen the exhale as you press the mid back up, dropping the tailbone, dropping the head. There are other kinds of movement that are needing to have their way out allow your hips to travel shoulders to travel any kind of movement that feels like you're opening the spaces in the body that needs to be open any wiggling we need to let the wiggles out before we can fully settle And only when we settle, our mind can be focused and our body can be at rest. Slowly, slowly this movement starts to cease into stillness, into a neutral spine. From here, you're taking your right arm up, you're opening the chest and you exhale, bringing it underneath inhalation will bring it up let's do a few times to create space into your lungs exhale inhaling exhale one more time inhale open exhale thread the needle bring the hand far drop the shoulder down drop the cheek down left hand rises up and you're dropping it behind your back either onto your sacrum or even maybe reaching towards your right thigh letting the twist gently drop deeper breathing the whole time 
remembering to breathe up and down the spine. Major energy pathway in the body. Cleansing and clearing that with your breath. Inhalation will bring your left arm up. Exhale, bring it in front of your face. Press yourself up. Open back to the right. Bring yourself down onto your old force and settle on. So coming on to the opposite side. So your left arm is rising up. You're exhaling, dropping it under. Inhaling, open. Exhaling, dropping. Coming more. Really create space. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Big, big opening, reaching up. Exhaling. Shoulder comes down, cheek comes down. Right arm rises. You drop it onto your back or towards your thigh. Resting here for a few breaths. Maybe pressing your left arm deeper into the earth. Deepening the twist. Inhalation brings the right arm up. Exhale in front of your face. Drop it onto the earth. Open. And exhale. Calm down. So come into a little rest in Anahatasana. If this is too intense for you, child's pose is always at the place. But how to come to Anahatasana is that we keep our hips right on top of the knees. We walk the hands further. Drop the forehead, drop the chest down onto the earth. Let the elbows rest, let everything rest. Soften the chest. Let the heart melt towards the mat. Third eye is resting on the mat. And as I said, if this feels too intense for an evening practice, child's pose is always there. It's like an old friend you can always drop back to. This is a beautiful posture to release. So whatever there is you need to release, breathe it out through your mouth. Leave it onto the mat. Let it drop, let it leave. Things you don't need anymore. Things that are ripe and ready to drop and to just go. Slowly, slowly, we start finding our way back onto our all fours. And from our old force, we come into a few cat cows again, inhale, opens and exhale, rounds again, lengthening the exhalation, calming your whole system down. In your own rhythm, inhalation stays. Approximately at the count of four and exhale can lengthen as long as it can, as long as you can make it without struggle or without making it too much. Focus on opening the back of the body, space between the shoulder blades, opening the back door of the heart. And 
then find your way onto a tabletop. Now take your left arm, right leg, lengthen them. Really, really lengthen. Press the heel. Find stability in your core. Keep the neck long. Chin is slightly tucked in. As you exhale, you bring the elbow and knee over each other. Inhalations lengthen, keeping it soft. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Next time you inhale, stay. Brought the hand down. Now bring the right leg from the back, bend the knee, bring it between your hands. Take the back knee a little bit back. Open your chest into a low lunge. Use blocks if needed here. Keep the chest open. Neck long. Again, breathing up and down the spine. Opening the hip flexor beautifully on the left. From here, we're rising into Anahatasana, but gently so that our chin still stays on the level of the earth, so we're not dropping our head back, dropping the shoulders here, giving the spine the length that it yearns and needs. Bring the hands onto the earth. You come into a twist, so your left hand stays in the front and you open to the twist towards the right, keeping the breath flowing. Exhale, bring the hand down. Now taking your hips back. Putting the toes in the front, pointing them up, keep the chest open, and just gently bow. Bow down, keep the spine long. Again, blocks may be handy here. Focusing on the breath, on the Ujjayi breath. Exhaling, bowing one more time and rolling the foot in the front. Hands come uh, both sides of your foot and you step back onto your all fours. Bring the knees together and let the hips drop from side to side. Finding the stillness, <coughs> sorry, finding the stillness, keeping the spine tall, giving yourself a few cat cows. Inhale, exhale, lengthen. Long exhale. Even though we're moving the body, we're keeping the mind calm. We're trying to calm the nervous system down. We're living in a times where we basically live at the moment in constant fight or flight situations. It's highly, highly important to be able to calm your system down. And what does that best is a long exhalation. So 
big long exhale. So try to lengthen, keep the inhalation approximately on a count of four. And the exhale lengthens. As much as it can. After your next inhale, find a neutral spine. Now this time your right arm, your left leg lengthen. Lots and lots of length, strengthen the core. Exhale, elbow and knee over, squeeze from the core. Inhale, lengthens. Exhaling. Inhale. Breath moves you, not the other way around. So you're simply just following the breath. That's why we use the Ujjayi. So you can hear that. Next time you're inhaling and lengthening, please stay there. Drop the hand down. Now bring the left foot from the back between your hands. Take the back knee a little bit further. So you're opening, opening the hip flexor slightly in the front, lengthening the spine, yet keeping the back of the neck long. Why we do that, why do I talk about that so much is that we're containing our energy within when, our, when we don't throw our chin back, especially in a calming practices, is highly, highly important. So we don't have to keep our chin to the chest, but we don't start lifting our chain too much. It's also creating Jalandhara Bandha in the throat. One of the three, three bandhas, three locks that we use in yoga. Containing the prana, containing the energy within. Inhalation. Rising up, yet keeping the chin. Relaxing the shoulders. Chest may be open, rotating your thighs slightly inwards, so you're having support in the middle, so you're having support, strength. When we start trusting the strength of our own beings, it helps us to, through these tumultuous times. Exhaling, taking your hands down a twist dropping the hip on the left breathe into the chest twists are very magical postures they bring your energy back to the middle they bring your left and right hemisphere into a conversation they center the energy better than basically anything One more deep breath in, exhaling, hands down, taking your hips back, pointing the toes in the front, lengthening, exhale, bound, wherever you can authentically go, don't press yourself too much, keep the spine tall, keep the breath flowing, Pulling slightly the left hip back. Deep inhale. As you exhale, roll the foot down. Hands on either side, either side of the foot. Bring knees together. Again, releasing the tension from the hips just by rolling the hips from side to side. If it feels good to you, you may just stay on one side, closing the eyes, enjoying. And then on the other, or moving along with your breath.
from here on your all fours you tuck your toes under we come into one downward facing dog today not too many <laughs> so take your toes under and gently press the hips far up and back and i advise you to keep the knees bent keep the heels off the mat and really pay attention to the spine because often when we hold the heels down what happens is that we start rounding in the spine so keep the heels slightly off the mat keep the knees soft Stay here for a few breaths. If this feels for you, if you really want to do a super gentle practice and this feels like a lot, you're welcome always to drop the knees and rest in child's pose. Please do so. Choose from yourself. Those of you who want to stay in down dog twist for a few breaths, inhalation will bring you onto your tiptoes and exhaling, heels travel down slowly. Inhalation onto your tippy toes. Exhaling. Inhale. Start lengthening the exhale. Like your feet are breathing. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. And settle. Lengthen the spine. Couple breaths. Start walking the feet to the front. And we come just hip width apart. Really fully grounding your feet. And as you inhale, the spine lengthens. Knees are soft. Exhale, you're bowing down. Very simple. Ardha Uttanasana. Lengthen the spine. Exhaling, bowing down. Inhaling, lengthen the spine. Like you're fully breathing to the spine and exhale, maybe lengthening again the exhalation if it's available. No pressure. <laughs> Just a suggestion. One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Now stay here, soften the knees, bend the knees generously, keep the neck long. Your hands either resting on the earth, if this is too far for you, Always welcome to have them on your ankles, on your shins, wherever you can easily reach. Let the crown of the head drop towards the earth. Just enjoy that. Let the exhalation stay long and steady. Feel your feet on the earth. Feel how deeply they ground it. Let's take one more breath here. Together, release through the mouth. Now heel toe your feet so that they become mat width apart. We're coming into a squat. So if you know that squat is something that's hard for you, find something underneath your your heels a block or bolster or blanket and lengthen the spine from here and then we start dropping the hips down and letting everything drop elbows to the thighs opening the chest if even with the propping uh, squat is a difficult place for you to be you're always welcome just to sit down placing soles of the feet together works like magic 
find your variation but let's stay here for a few breaths now again come into the spine and really let the sacrum and the tail anchor allow them to magnetize with the earth into a seated posture. Take your legs to the front, give them a nice little shake. And we'll come into a forward fold to close our shirt flow for today. So we come to Janu Sirsasan. So take your left knee into your chest, have a little conversation with the hip, bring the sole of the foot to the inner thigh, open and lengthen the spine, keep the neck long, take your arms overhead and really create a tall, tall spine. And as you exhale, start bowing down, the inhalation will bring you up into a few dynamic rounds of this. Exhale, starts lengthening again. Inhaling. In. See if you can start lengthening the exhalation on the count of six. Inhaling in. on the count of four. One more round of dynamic. Coming up on a count of four. And then slowly, slowly, with a long, long, long exhale, heart open, you come down to wherever your Janusir Sasana is taking you today. Keeping your knees soft, shoulders relaxed, don't pull your hands, pull your arms. Keep the neck long and just release. Pay a lot of attention to your spine. Let your spine be cleansed by your breath. Upper body is expanding all the way to your back as you inhale. Gently, uh, belly is gently uh, descending, dropping as you exhale maybe giving you a little bit more space to drop deeper and then inhalation gently starts bringing you up all the way up hands into your heart onto your knees release Opposite side. Take your left leg to the front, right knee to the chest. Feel your opening in the hip. Keeping it all very gentle today. Long arms, shoulders relaxed, spine tall, like somebody's drawing from the top of the head inhalation lengthen exhale start bowing down inhale comes up with the count of four exhale starts lengthening inhale exhale goes even longer maybe on a count of six Inhale. Exhale. Deep into your 
llanos y el sacrum. Lengthening the spine with the inhale, exhaling, forcibly letting it drop deeper. The spine is alive. It's breathing. You're breathing. Into the spine. Inhalation widens and opens the upper back. Exhalation belly flattens you, maybe drop a little bit deeper. Few more beautiful breaths here, keeping the neck long. Inhaling, rising up, bringing your hands into the heart, bringing the hands into the knees, closing the eyes, and just sensing and feeling everything that is arising from within. And then slowly find your way back onto your back. Lying on your back. Take the knees into the chest and again massage the sacrum, the lower spine. And we finish the same way we started. We come into a supine twist. So just give ourselves the last beautiful opportunity to be with the spine. So you open your arms. Now, if you want to deepen your twist, you bind the legs together. You may also just keep the knees together. Find a variation that speaks to you. And then start rocking yourself into a twist. Turning your head maybe away from the knees. Breathing up and down your spine. Letting every exhalation release more tension from the body, from the mind, from the nervous system. Inhaling, bring the legs back to the middle, releasing maybe even in the hips, knees into the chest, either binding your legs or keeping the knees together, whatever serves you, and allowing the twist to happen over to the opposite side, finding your way of being there in the space of stillness, space of rejuvenation, Focusing on the spine, breathing up and down the spine. Stay with them. Now gently start bringing the knees back to the middle. Give yourself one last hug. And allow yourself to drop into a space of rest.
finding your way in this rest into your seated posture. Noticing your breath. Noticing the body. Staying with the breath, we do a gentle pranayama where we count any inhalation on a count of four. We hold the breath on a count of three and we exhale on a count of six. Holding the breath on a count of three. Inhaling four. Holding for two. Exhaling on a count of six. Holding for a count of three. Holding for a count of two, inhaling for four, holding for two, exhaling for six, holding for two. Continuing with your own count. sounds to the outside. Using them as tools to go inwards. And then releasing the breath to a normal neutral breath. Exactly as you are breathing right now, dropping the Ujjayi, dropping every bit of effort from your breath. And gathering your awareness between the eyebrows, slightly behind the eyebrows the middle of the eyebrows, I'm <laughs> sorry, into your third eye.
and visualizing them clear, pristine, bright, full moon in your brain. Letting your awareness stay there, bathing in the calming, the cooling, and soothing moonlight. Every time your mind starts to wander for any thought, bring to the light of the full moon. In the midbrain, you find the space between the eyebrows. So just let yourself rest there. Give yourself a rest. I will lead you into your meditation. Continue it as long as you like. And after, have yourself a sweet, sweet shavasana. Sweet rest. Thank you for practicing with me today. And hope to see you again. Namaste. Thank you.